Well, good morning. So after many, many months of waiting, we finally arrived at today. <laughs> so we are going to um, introduce our class of 2022 for their dental hygiene white coat ceremony. At this time, Professor Raha Nadiri, Assistant Professor in the Department of Periodontics and Dental Hygiene will lead our processional of our graduating class. All right, you may be seated. At this time, um, I would like to introduce our UTSD administrations and they will give greetings on behalf of the school. And I'd like to introduce Dean Valenza. Thank you, Dr. Henson. Good morning. Welcome to family, friends, guests, and sponsors, and of course, the class of 2022. Well, at last, we've made it to the white coat ceremony, right? Uh, in past years, during orientation week, I've started my remarks off, remarks off saying how amazed you're gonna be that how fast the next two years is gonna fly. Uh, I obviously can't say that today, but I bet if I asked, uh, have you felt like the last 15 months have gone by pretty fast, you'd probably say yes. Um, at least I think you would. Uh, the pandemic has changed all of our senses of uh, the passage of time. But hopefully all the symbolism and the words of wisdom today will be just as impactful to you as they would have been in August 2020. And certainly the overall message I delivered to you at orientation and many times since, remains the same. Don't be satisfied with the minimum. Continue to push yourself to achieve all that you can, to learn all that is possible. Remember, I also said you will never finish, as evident that we all become lifelong learners. You've had the opportunity to learn from a terrific faculty, as they too are committed to what it means to wear the white coat and also be a healthcare provider. But let me add today, students, that donning your white coat this morning is more than a symbol. It's a pledge, it's a commitment, it's a responsibility to serve humanity. And to be professional at all times, in all places, in person, online, otherwise, May 14th will be here soon. Okay, you're excited about that? And I can't wait to see you walk across the stage at graduation. But savor this moment and what the white coat means to you, your patients, and others. Congratulations, class of 2022. And remember, we are UTSD. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce Dr. Nicole Angeloff. He is the department chair at periodontics and dental hygiene. Thank you. Dear Dr. Valenza, colleagues, uh, alumni, students, and guests, parents, family, and friends, special greeting and special thank you to all the parents and the significant ones uh, in the audience that are here with us today because you actually made this possible. So thank you. Thank you all. Students, uh, I'm much honored to be here today, uh, welcoming you to this official initiation into the health healthcare profession. Now, of course, in your case, you're almost almost there um, and about to graduate, but uh, I still want us to keep this moment as the official uh, initiation in the healthcare profession, the profession of dental hygiene, uh, the one that, that you, you have chosen. Did you know that dental hygienists had actually 
were and continue to be one of America's hot jobs, and, and, and they're still, that's still true. And currently in the, in the United, in United States, probably approximately 50 million or maybe more people live in actually dental health professional shortage areas, and dental hygiene is a big part of that. In 2019, um, there was a report by the Bureau of Labor Statistics that showed at that time that hiring of dental hygienists is projected to increase at that time by 33% through 2022, which is actually now. Uh, much faster than the average of, of any occupation at that time, but you know, of course, this was before the COVID uh, COVID pandemic, and um, and I can only assume this this uh, need has actually you know increased dramatically. We are currently wit witnessing a tremendous growth um, in the demand for dental hygienists na nationwide, as well as Texas, and I'm sure Houston is is probably um, you know true for Houston as well. So, but it's not only the fact that you will most likely have a job after you graduate that should excite you. Okay. It should be the nature of the profession you have chosen that should keep you motivated and should keep you fulfilled. You have chosen a wonderful profession, one that is actually noble, one that is caring. And being a periodontist, I'm very well aware of the value that an outstanding dental hygienist brings into every dental practice. According to a survey by Sunstar, and, and there are many surveys that will confirm you that, but you know, about maybe more than 80% of, of uh, Patients say they trust their dental hygienist and, and their hygienist recommendations. And I don't want to share with you uh, how much they, you know, they trust the dentist uh, necessarily, but I can, I can tell you it's, it's, it's less than that. Okay. Um, the dental hygiene program in every dental office is actually a make it or break it um, factor for the success of any office. So you should be, you should be proud of, of the profession that you have chosen. It takes a special kind of person to be a dental hygienist. It, it takes compassion to be sensitive to the fear or discomfort experienced by some people when they visit the dentist in the dental office. It takes attention to detail. It takes dexterity to perform the procedures in diagnosis and treatment. It takes stamina to spend hours leaning over many patients, and it takes strong interpersonal skills to relate and communicate with patients and coworkers. So to put it very bluntly, uh, I think you can all agree with me that dental hygienists are the unsung heroes of dental care. Well, I'm proud to say that you're actually about to graduate, maybe in a short time, from an outstanding dental hygiene program. This is the, the best dental hygiene program around. On all boards, our graduates score above the national average. The training is superior, um, right? And I think Dr. Petruno is just agreeing with me here. Um, it's superior uh, to the other programs in the Houston area and wider. And then because our, our graduates, if you ask around, they're a hot commodity when it comes to dentists. Uh, in general, dentists looking for an outstanding dental hygienist. You know, everybody will tell you that. And that's true. This speaks volumes about the quality of the students we accept into this program, but also speaks volumes about the quality of our faculty and our, you know, that, that actually uh, run the program. It's an extraordinary, well-educated, dedicated group of people um, that you all got the pleasure to work already with, and they sit on the dental hygiene faculty. You gained excellent clinical skills, but also got exposed to state-of-the-art teaching as well as research opportunities during your, your time here. Usually, this is where I try to leave you guys with several pieces of recommendations or, or basically tips, uh, you know, how to survive the dental hygiene program. Now, I guess you already almost got it, so you, you survived most of it. Um, but still, I do believe that, that some of these little pearls of maybe instructions can be, can be useful and can stand maybe the impact of time. So the first recommendation is, is actually, and you know, I'm going to echo Aladdin here, is continue to learn. Um, and that's, that's true for all professions, especially healthcare professions, and stay in touch with the profession. Health professionals are life, lifelong learners. Uh, and of course, always seek the advice and the guidance and the help uh, of your faculty, even after you graduate. We are, and we always will be here for you. My second advice is be passionate about your profession because this is a noble profession, one that requir requires not only technical skills, but also passion and also compassion at the same time. And still, let me remind you, there is, as always, you know, a little catch and there's this very important thing. And, and again, it was mentioned before, it's responsibility. Responsibility towards our patients to provide the best care there is, but also responsibility towards ourselves to be the best that we can be. Ronald Reagan once said on responsibility, there are no easy answers, but they are simple answers. We must have the courage to do what we know is morally right, and that rings true for all of us. Finally, as you move towards finishing your education and into the professional uh, world, let me wish you a lot of success in it, and you will be great.
because again, we are all UTSD. And thank you all and good luck. Next, I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker for this morning. Professor Victoria Patronova is an associate professor and director of the dental hygiene program. She graduated from our UT School uh, of Dentistry at Houston Dental Hygiene Program in 1999 and went on to receive her a Master's of Healthcare Administration from Texas Women's University at Houston in 2007. And then in 2009, she joined the faculty here after practicing dental hygiene in the Houston area for over 10 years. She is an active member of our professional associations. She is a past president of the Greater Houston Dental Hygienist Association, a vice president and treasurer. She's also been active at the state level with the Texas Dental Hygiene Association and the Texas Dental Hygiene Edu Educators Association. Nationally, she is an accomplished speaker and expert in the field of smoking cessation. She has presented numerous CE courses at the American Dental Hygienist Association, and she has published several articles in dental and dental hygiene journals and contributed to a textbooks chapter. She has served as chair for the American Dental Association section on substance abuse, addictions, and tobacco dependence education. And she, in 2018, received the Procter & Gamble Teaching Excellence Award. Will you please help me welcome Professor Patronova? Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Hansen, for this very long introduction. Dean Valenza, Dr. Angeloff, Dr. Spears, my hygiene colleagues, friends and family, thank you for joining us today with the class of 2022 for their white coat ceremony. I'm very excited to be here. This is my first time speaking at White Coat Ceremony. So it gave me some time to reflect on my journey into dental hygiene. My way to dental hygiene profession was not straightforward. I studied in two languages, on two different continents, three universities and one community college. My husband and I came to this country in 1993 with four suitcases. One of them was full of books, including some dental books. My dental degree from another country was not accepted, so I had to start over. So I chose dental hygiene, a completely new specialty for me, the profession that did not exist in Russia at that time. I took prerequisites at Ross State Community College in Oklahoma. Any old case here? Yay, go Sooners. Then we moved to Houston and I went to register's office at UT School of Dentistry. At that time, it was known as UT Dental Branch. They were very nice to me. They accepted my science courses from my coursework in Russia, and I was in. Did I know how demanding the program was? No, but I was happy to be accepted in the class of 1999. I remember how hard it was to sacrifice at least a part of the weekend or every weekend, the whole weekend, to studying, right? I remember failures and triumphs. I failed medical history on my husband. But I aced scaling with Dr. Melcher. I remember the long commutes every day. I remember sweat, blood, and tears. Some clinical days, lots of tears. You certainly had less of the commute, thanks to COVID, but more sweat, thanks to COVID, because of those PPEs that we're wearing now. Unlike the class of 2022, our class did not have the white coat ceremony. It is symbolic and very important event, judging by the fact that your family and friends showed up today on this rainy day, it is important event. White Code Ceremony was created by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation in 1993. 
to symbolize a rite of passage for medical students. It signifies a milestone, a change in professional roles, a promise to upheld medical profession to the highest standard. During the ceremony, a white coat is placed on each student's shoulders and often the oath is recited, signifying students' entrance into medical professions. Since 1990s, this tradition was adopted by other healthcare professions and schools, including nursing, veterinary, dental, and dental hygiene schools. The white coat symbolizes commitment to serving the public for the rest of your career and the opportunity to make real changes in their health and lives of your patients. The ceremony is usually is at the beginning of the journey, a journey that you take together with your classmates and become to become healthcare professionals. Well, like it was said, we're about 17 months late to introduce you to your classmates. By now, you know them, and some of them will be your lifelong friends. Some schools have white coat ceremony before students start clinical care. We're late here too. You have been treating patients for a year now, and some of your patients are probably in the audience today. Like the Tokyo Olympics, this event was supposed to happen in 2020. But unlike the Olympics, we wanted you to have your biggest fans and cheerleaders, your family members by your side. So it was moved once or twice or three times. And now we have the ceremony almost at the end of your tenure here at UTSB. Today will be the first time you will recite dental hygiene oath and your families will witness your commitment to it. The oath is intended to provide you guidelines regarding the expectations and responsibilities appropriate for dental hygiene professionals. Today's ceremony symbolizes your entrance into professional life. Of course, after you qualify for your Olympic final, RAB exam, national board exam. Are you already envisioning the finish line, your Olympic gold medals? I hope so. You might know who Randy Posh was. He was a computer science professor at Carnegie Mellon University who was diagnosed with terminal pancreatic cancer and died at age 47. He delivered the lecture that was called The Last Lecture, Really Achieving Your Childhood Dreams. And he co-wrote a book based on that lecture. He said, as a professor, I learned early on that I could trust bright, 19-year-old students with the keys to my kingdom. And most of the time, they were responsible and impressive. Not all of you are 19, but this white coat ceremony is passing of keys. We're letting you into your professional world. And we trust that in three months or so, you will be capable, responsible, and ethical preventive oral care professionals. We believe that you will impress us and others as you provide care with empathy and respect to your patients. Our goal here at UT School of Dentistry Dental Hygiene Program is not only to give you knowledge and skills, but a sense of professionalism and a new purpose in life. As you know now, it takes more than learning certain subjects, instruments, or dental materials to be successful in the dental hygiene and dental field. It was mentioned before that you need great communication skills to educate and treat a diverse patient population. You need practice management knowledge to be financially successful. You need to know ergonomics to keep yourself healthy and productive for many years. Most importantly, you need to have a passion for what you're doing, helping your patients and communities. I hope you agree with me now that we have great faculty, dedicated, knowledgeable, compassionate, but we cannot teach you everything that you will need during your professional life. We hope to inspire you to be curious about the development in the field, make clinical decision based on ever-changing scientific evidence, and your clinical experience 
and make your decision according to your moral compasses. We hope you continued your education throughout your career. Master programs, anybody? Too early? You overcame some challenges. You stayed awake through full days of WebEx classes. You survived the big Texas freeze and the lack of food choices on campus. We know that you are resilient, you're innovative, flexible, stay positive, study hard, and make us proud in the next three months and beyond. Remember, dental and dental hygiene world is very small. Congratulations to dental hygiene class of 2022 and your families. Looking forward to see you all on May 14th at Minute Maid Park for 2022 commencement. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Patronova. Uh, just on a side note, Professor Patronova was my advisee when I was, um, when she started in 2007, she graduated 2009, so. <laughs> All right. The moment you all been waiting for is the coding of this of your white coats. I will ask Professor Naduri to uh, take the first row into their coding positions. We now have Rahim Abu Abale. Daisy Koto Jones and a seal. Jose Alamillo. Kanisha Allen. Caroline Choi. Jessica Klingham. Zahara Habaspe. Catherine Dugay.
Evan, Felix. Arpin, Jambazayan. Teresa Ku. Kathy Lamb. Na Quen Lee. Christian Leonardo. Tiffany Lee. Jasmine Mang. Katarina Morton. Nicholas Mucci. Evelyn Munoz. Yasmin Palmiron. Jade Pham.
Ania Ponce de Leon. Martin Ryman. Kelly Rivera. Alexis Robichaud. Crystal Rosa. Nadia Santo. Sierra Topolo. Olivia Young. All right, now we have to make it official. <laughs> So if you get your programs that are located on your chairs, class of 2022, please stand. And at this time, I'd like to invite my fellow hygiene colleagues to join me in the recitation of the dental hygiene oath. In my practice, as a dental hygienist, I affirm my personal and professional commitment to improve the oral health of the public to advance the art and science of dental hygiene and to promote high standards of quality care. I pledge continually to improve my professional knowledge and skills and to render a full measure of service to each patient entrusted to my care and to uphold the highest standards of professional competence and personal conduct in the interests of the dental hygiene profession and the public it serves. Class of 2022, will you please turn and let us congratulate them You may be seated.
As we close this morning's ceremony, uh, I would like to uh, give our sincere thanks to uh, Dean Valenza and the administration of the school for supporting our white coat since 1999. So, a special thanks to our Dental Hygiene Alumni Association, um, to you, the students, and to uh, the, the Pace Center, uh, the Office of Student Academic Affairs, and the uh, Whitney Anderson and Fair Mollahan here at the Cooley Conference Center, and to Ms. Rosalind Collins and Melissa Cole for helping us, for always being instrumental in getting everything together. Um, you will be taking your kind of your white coat photo at the conclusion uh, at the front of the, at the stairs at the front of the building. So at that time, you will depart and meet uh, Mr. Brian Schnuff, the photographer at that location. The white coat pictures will be uploaded to a Flickr account. The Flickr address is located on the back of your program. And you may, at that time it's uh, uploaded, you may download as much as you want. Uh, we will have a, a, a reception in the, in the back of the foyer and we have little goodies. Uh, we also wanna thank the Pace Center for providing you some uh, mementos of your white coat ceremony. And then we also at the end for our families and friends, we have the, our logo pictures here and we have a self automated um, uh, selfie booth at the, at the, at the uh, back of the foyer and that can email you their photos once they're done. So, well, that's it. We are now closing our white coat in a few months we'll be doing a graduation. How exciting. So on behalf of everyone, have a great weekend, stay dry, stay warm, and stay safe. <laughs>